the Chevrolet Silverado electric pickup truck, which general owners have said they'll begin selling on mass within a few months. Not only has it been discounted by 10,000 US dollars, but we've also just discovered the range is even better than what General Motors claimed. And when I say better, I mean it's significantly better. This is quite a surprise to me. But what I realized is this. If you were to go and buy a General Motors electric pickup truck, you would, um, you would make GM poorer because they are definitely making a significant loss on this vehicle. And you know, you could make their loss your gain. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Now, this is a video that goes out to all the people who are considering buying a gasoline-powered pickup truck, or if you've already got a gasoline-powered pickup truck, maybe it's time to upgrade. That's, of course, if you can get your hands on one. That, that could be, you know, the trickiest part here. Advertised range estimates for electric vehicles, they're not normally right. I mean, they're normally, you know, slightly exaggerated or they're the vehicles are driven in certain conditions or there's a lot of city driving you know city driving evs generally get very very good uh, range estimates uh, stop go traffic you're going slower if you're going slower in an ev that's a benefit you're gonna get more range going faster it's like highway driving range is generally lower than what a what, what you would think it would be now the opposite applies to internal combustion vehicles. If you're going slower in an internal combustion vehicle, having to stop start, there's no regen braking, you end up using more energy. You end up um, getting really poor fuel economy. The 2024 Chevrolet Silverado EV RST version was tested by Jerry Rig Everything. So he's got his hands on one of these. He has a Cyber truck and he has a Rivian R1T. And he's tested one of these. He's done all kinds of driving in it. Uh, highway driving, uh, different routes, you know, even drove on the dirt for a little bit as well. It's meant to get 440 miles of range. Originally, it was meant to get 400 miles of range. It's got massive 23-inch wheels on it. Then, General Motors discovered it would actually get 440 miles of range. So they said that's what it would get. Well, he got 460 miles of range, which is absolutely incredible. Now, 460 miles of range, I mean, there is no range anxiety, surely, if you've got 460 miles of range, because not only that, it also charges at a maximum speed of 360 kilowatt fast charging, which is just incredible. Now, you're probably thinking, how the hell does it get so much range? I mean, this is a, you know, it's basically a brick. It's big. It's very heavy, extremely heavy. And the reason is this, it has a 200 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is absolutely enormous. That's bigger than three Tesla Model 3 batteries put together. So take three Tesla Model 3s, the batteries from them, uh, the standard range, put them, put them on top of each other, and that battery pack will still be smaller than the battery pack in the Silverado. That's one very pricey battery pack. Now, you might be thinking, well, it's, you know, I just mentioned in my video that it's $95,000. It was meant to be $105,000. General Motors have reduced the price for the RST to $95,000. Now, actually, there's a cheaper version, which will get you similar range. And this is where I think General Motors would be losing a lot of money. Now, technically, General Motors have actually delivered 461 Silverados during the first half of 2023, including 443 in Q4. So pretty much all of those yeah, were delivered in Q4 of last year. And they say that there will be a $40,000 version. Now, I don't think that's ever gonna come, but anyway, I mean, there's no actual good $40,000 pickup trucks, is there? There's three versions of the Silverado EV that you'll be able to buy within a few months. The base version costs 72,900, so 73,000 US dollars. That version though is really not where the value is at because the Chevrolet Silverado EV4WT has a much bigger battery pack and that gives it around 440 miles of range or as we've seen, probably 460 miles of range. Meaning you can get an electric pickup truck with 360 kilowatt fast charging for $78,000 which has a range of 460 miles. Really? I mean, that's actually a really good deal. A General Motors going to make many of these? Probably not. 
I think selling a price, selling a pickup truck at that price, $78,000, considering it doesn't have lithium ion phosphate batteries, it manufactures the batteries in America. These are expensive batteries to produce, all right? Yeah, the price of lithium has come down. That would help, but there's still expensive batteries to produce. There's no doubt about that, especially considering how slow General Motors are at producing those batteries. Uh, battery production ramp up has gone extremely slowly for the company. So you're getting a 200 kilowatt hour battery pack here, which does have uh, the ability to charge your home. You even get a free home connection charger, which is valued at a few thousand dollars, which has a speed of 19 kilowatt. Now, I'm not sure exactly how much actual power you can send back into your house, but 19 kilowatt AC charger comes free with the vehicle. That's the fastest AC charging I think I've ever seen. Now, of course, it's gonna cost you a little bit to install that, and depending on your property, you may not, might not be able to. But anyway, the point still remains. This is actually incredibly good value. Now, General Motors said that that vehicle would have 440 miles of range, but now they've changed their minds. They're actually saying now, that vehicle has much smaller wheels and the same size battery pack than the RST. So it's got 18 inch wheels, which are six inches smaller than the wheels on the RST. So they're saying, no, actually you're gonna get more range. We'll get 450 miles of range. Now, Jerry rig everything, he didn't test that model. He tested the RST model, got 460 miles. So he got an extra 20 miles of range on top of what GM is saying you should get. Does that mean the EV4WT with the 18 inch wheels could get even more than that? Would it get an extra 20 miles on top of GM's claims? It could, if it does, that means it gets 470 miles of range. I mean, that's, that's nearly 800 kilometers. If anyone tells you they have a range anxiety from a vehicle like that, they have to be mind-numbingly stupid. That's just spectacular. Now, I should point out the RST version actually has a more powerful motor. It has a total power output of 754 horsepower and it has 785 pound-feet of torque. The 4WT and the 3WT they have 510 horsepower and 615 pound-feet of torque. So they still have a lot of power, but the RST, it can do zero to 60 miles an hour in 4.5 seconds. It's no cyber beast in terms of performance, and that's for a few reasons. The main one being, it's a lot heavier than a cyber truck. Now you might be thinking, well, why is the cyber truck only getting 340 miles? Maybe closer to 330 miles, depending on the configuration. The reason is this, the Cybertruck battery is massively smaller. It's 123 kilowatt hours. That means the battery pack in these Silverado EVs is 77 kilowatt hours bigger than the Cybertruck's battery. Basically, take the battery pack out of the Model Y and slap it into the Cybertruck and that's the size of the battery pack. If you were to put in Tesla's range extended battery, you would actually need three of those to make up the difference in the size of battery between the Cybertruck and GM's Silverado. Now, is that necessarily negative? Well, you know, it's heavy, but you know what? I don't think it really matters all that much. You're getting this kind of range anyway, who cares? And the towing of these vehicles is really, really good. It's actually 10,000 pounds. I think that might be about a thousand pounds less than the Cybertruck, but who cares? I mean, four and a half, four and a half thousand kilos. That's more than more than the, the average person's ever gonna need. In terms of its actual efficiency, it's 67 miles per gallon electric or E, or about 503 watt hours per mile. Now that's for not the RST version, that's for the 18 inch wheel, 18 inch wheel 4WT version. Now the EV4WT with this battery pack, uh, this big battery pack, it consumes 6.3% more energy than what I just revealed before. It actually consumes 535 watts per mile. So it's actually less efficient than the Cybertruck. Even though you're thinking it's getting a lot of range, it is less efficient, but that makes sense. When you've got a battery this size, you, your efficiency is obviously going to go down. But here's the thing, we're being told this battery pack is a 200 kilowatt hour size. But if you do the numbers, if you actually work it out, 535 watts per mile, or 450 miles, that would mean you would need a 240 kilowatt hour battery. 
So is the battery pack 200 kilowatt hours or 240? Well, I don't actually know. I don't think anyone really knows. Maybe um, Sandy Munro can get his hands on one, test it and tell us all what's really going on. Now, I think it's actually 200. But anyway, whatever the case may be, the Silverado's EV battery pack consists of two separate 400 volt batteries. This is how it gets its fast charging. These batteries are normally connected in parallel 400 volt powertrains, but switch to series configuration before DC fast charging to achieve maximum power at a lower current. So they basically become an 800 volt system. The peak charging power mentioned by the man by Chevy is 350 kilowatt at an 800 volt charger. That enables replenishing of up to 100 miles of range in 10 minutes. AC charging actually is surprisingly good. The onboard charger is 19.2 kilowatt. So if you put the right charger at home, if you are able to use Chevy's charger at home and you have the ability to you know, connect that at your, your, using your existing architecture, then you're gonna get pretty fast AC charging. Now, the, uh, the other cool feature that this thing has, it has 10 power points that provide 10.2 kilowatts of electric power, meaning you can plug in 10 different devices to this vehicle and get a total power output of 10.2 kilowatt. So you could plug in quite a lot of stuff to this thing if you had a campsite, which makes this truck incredibly practical for camping, um, you know, setting up your campsite, right? Setting up your tent and just say, setting up a fridge, setting up maybe even an oven. You could actually connect so many things to this and really only use a pretty small percentage of that massive battery packs power. When it comes to towing and payload, GM's general info says that the 4WT can tow 10,000 pounds. Its maximum available payload though is only 1,400 pounds. So the payload is something that's a bit of an issue and I think that's because of the bigger battery pack. The 3WT though, it has better towing and better payload. It can do 12,500 pounds because of the smaller battery pack, which obviously will run out faster though. And it has a payload of 1,750 pounds, which is still relatively light. The heavier RST version, its payload is only 1,300 pounds. It can only put about, what, 600 kilos in that tray. That's, that's not much. It tows though up to 10,000 pounds. Guys, either way, General Motors, they will be losing quite a bit of money on these vehicles. In particular, the 4WT, which has that huge battery pack and it is obviously, you know, $20,000 cheaper than the RST. I think for that reason, GM won't sell many of these. But if I'm wrong, that would be great news because we'd see a lot more Americans driving vehicles that are so much better, not only for them, but for the environment. But it would also mean that they'd be telling their friends, guys, this pickup, it has 460 miles of range. It's a great vehicle. You should get one too. And that'd be good because we'd see more people uh, get out of these gasoline trucks that are just, you know, spurting fumes everywhere and get an electric one. Thanks for watching.